Hello and welcome fellow Quantlings to a new series. In the series we shall be playing a game called Trove. First off we have to do, so this is from the very beginning of the game, is choose a class. Now, I've, I have no idea what, I haven't given this any thought at all. Okay, well I've already played the Boom Ranger and the Dracolite. Gunslinger, I don't think that's a very good one. I can't quite remember. I think... It might be interesting to do the Ice Sage because it's one of the few of these I haven't actually done and I don't think is bad. I don't think. <laughs> so let's choose the Ice Sage. Okay, here we are. Now, our first steps. Press W, A, S, and D to move around and use the mouse to look around. Okay, pretty, pretty simple controls, I must say. Uh, do, okay, th there we are. Follow the path to the cave, then use the left mouse button to attack your foe. So I'm assuming this is the path, quite obviously, to a mysterious looking cave that's highlighted in gold blocks. I have not played this game for ages, in fact, I cannot even remember this intro. I, oh yes, actually I remember a bit of it. Okay, do we, do we, just shoot him. Die, you shall die. Mouse, middle, oh god, middle mouse button doesn't do anything. <laughs> I, I thought it was, oh it does, I just didn't click it, right, okay, where is, oh I didn't drop anything, what a shame, okay, let's, let's open this chest, um, that's, that's better than what we have at the moment, and that, I think, did we just get this two same things, okay, we'll just equip this one, oh yeah, we just literally got the same things, oh no, they're different, okay, they're well, this sound, what looks cooler, probably this, it, it makes a cool sound anyway. Okay, press and hold H to travel to the hub world. Okay, what is over here? Just just to make sure nothing secret. No, nothing secret is over here. God damn it. Okay, press and hold H, I think it said. Yes, it did. Okay. And we get five flux. Great. That's a whole heap indeed. And loading screen. Hopefully this game's not too loud. I haven't actually changed anything. This is the fault settings. Maybe I'll, I'll rewatch the recording just to see if it's too loud. I don't know. Okay, so we go through here and into the portal. Go. Okay, I think it's top. Whoa, dude! It is so different. Oh, actually, <laughs> I don't think it is. Oh no, that is. That's like, holy crap! That's awesome. That's different. This is the only thing different from last time, and it's not snowing, which is absolutely glorious. Okay, let let's go over here. Um. Eventually, and I think we're supposed to go in this portal over here. In fact, I actually I do definitely know. So this would take us to a new world. Well, actually, I just want to see up here. Is it like new levels? I think there might be. Yes, we are getting slightly sidetracked. I don't know, but it looks very scary. And there's that the drowned world, rank 550. Holy crap, things have changed. What is rank? I I know I do know what that is. Never never mind. It's been a while. Um, okay, we'll use the green portal to go to the very easiest of worlds. Okay, peaceful hills. Climb a cornerstone. Find an empty plot and climb a cornerstone by pressing E while looking at the sign. Okay, uh, where is it? Well, usually, they're not too hard to find. They're actually everywhere. In fact, there's one over there, but maybe we can get it one bit closer. Like, right here. Okay, it's... I, I want more speed. Look how slow we are. Oh, wait, isn't... I can't remember how to speed up. Okay. Press Q to, uh, to use your Elysian flask to regain your health. Okay, we're, we're full on health, but... Okay, and then press E. That just refills the bottles, basically. Loot some blocks. Press tab to change between adventure and build mode. Use left, uh, left mouse to build and destroy blocks. Okay, we'll de we won't destroy some of our house. Here we are, we're looting. Okay, place box and by pressing the right mouse button. Yeah, it's the same as Minecraft. That is makes life so much easier, really. Move your cornerstone. Your corner cornerstone can be moved at an empty plot. Press E while looking at the sign to move it. Okay, also, we'll go back to being uh, visible, basically. And here we are. Uh, use Z to mount. You'll move faster this way, and, but you can't fights. Okay, this is the, this is the thing I wanted to go slightly quicker. There's a hole in our roof. Can we fall through this hole? Yes, we can. 
Fantastic. Okay. Uh, press M to use your map and compass at the top at the top of your screen to find a, and complete a dungeon. Okay. Well, there's one right over here, apparently. Let, let's head over there. Oh god, all the controls are different. What does shift do? Oh yes, we already know what shift does. And M is for hub. Hang on, how do I get- Oh god! Okay, run away! <laughs> and, um, um, I, yeah, that, okay. It just tells you the controls. Okay, we got, we got, ow! Okay, we, we can do this. We won't die. What is- What? I didn't even do anything! Oh, damn it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll destroy you. I'm sure we'll do a great job of it. Okay, we'll destroy you too. Oh no, you're a minion from someone who just completed the portal for me. Fantastic. I actually cousin I was hoping to destroy the boss. Okay, well, at least we got a better something, rather. Uh, we'll, we'll equip it. There we go. Okay. We gotta use the exit portal, which this is the enter portal, but they don't know that. Oh, yes, and we also get the chest, because we're in that dungeon. Okay, we'll do another one, just so you know what it's actually like. Okay, well, we're doing magic damage, so this is... This is better. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> There we go, we totally done that all legit by ourselves. To um, tab to build mode, then hold left uh, mouse to mine. Look for nodes of purple shape stone or while exploring. Okay, well I actually know where that is, so it makes life a lot easier. Let's use a mount. Oh, here it is right over here. Okay, let's use shift to hopefully get to it quicker. Okay. There we are. We, we're mining, we're mining some. We need 20 of this stuff. Oh god, bad memories. You need a lot of this stuff. This is... It, you need a lot. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So many, so many bad memories of just grinding these things. At least they came in big clumps. Reasonably big clumps. I, I'm actually going to gather the rest because we probably need it. Okay, there we are. And switching back to visible. Uh, press C, then press left uh, mouse on the weapon slot and icon and select a new look. Maybe I like this look, but fine, we'll do it. Okay. And then, these are all the different styles we have. What one do I like better? Um, probably, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably just that one. That is fine. Select it. It's kind of slow at selecting for some reason. Press M to use your map and compass to find and complete another dungeon. A.K.A. our first dungeon, because we didn't actually do the first one. Okay, where our closest one looks to be that one over there. In the different biome. And this is a new map. Is it it? No, it, oh, it wasn't a mushroom. It was an actual guy. Oh god, this is scary. I'm terrible at aiming. What is... Oh, what did I just do there? What did I... What was that? I have no idea, and I just realized this. Okay, let's keep on track. Okay, where are we heading? We're heading over here, and there's a mushroom guy. Just just run, just run. Oh, we can double jump too. I forgot about that. Actually, can we... No, we can't triple jump though. Hopefully in the future. Maybe even quadruple jump. Okay, let's head over here. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the spot. Oh uh, yeah, and if you look up to the top, of the screen, you can see like a compass thing, you know, yeah. Let's, let's actually, uh, no, actually our health is completely fine. Let's head in this dungeon. Ah, unrecognizable coughing fit there. Definitely so professional, but I've got a cold, so uh, who cares anyway. Let's head down and see if we can find the boss. Okay, oh god damn it. Ah, uh, there's so much of this. They're everywhere. <laughs> Z to go into Mount Thingamajig. Okay, I see him. Okay, let's use our... Oh, we're jumping around the place. Use that thing that we've done before that I actually don't know what it does. Oh, it, it seems to be very good at doing damage. Ha, <laughs> there we go. Okay, let, let's destroy this chest with big ice things. Okay. Okay, that, that, we got, uh, one thing at least that's better. Uh, that's not, we'll probably, this one is. Oh, so it's a rare. Okay, enter Adept's world. Return to the hub by holding H, then find and use the blue Adept adventure portal. Reward is five flux. Okay. So this is obviously the very beginning of the game, and it, after this, after a while, actually, this is kind of like the tutorial thing. 
and once you complete it, you basically have free will. When I first went through that stage, I had no idea what to do. I really didn't. I was following the quest the whole time. Okay. Let's go into the blue. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Require a power rank of 60 or greater. What is our power rank? Is 54? Oh, we didn't defeat the first boss. That's why. Okay, we'll just do one more dungeon and then we should be a good power rank. I don't even know what that means or how it increases or anything about it. Well, I know it's a number. Uh, I guess we can rally blade thing. Did it really help? Let's, let's go on the map. Uh, yes, it did, in fact. There are a few dungeons over here. Oh wait, I think that's where we spawned. Never mind. It didn't help much at all. Okay, well there's a dungeon over here, so it's pretty close and pretty should be pretty easy to take down. Really, Trove is pretty easy up to the point where you get into the red portals. Or at least for me. So you gotta keep like you gotta find the best gear possible. Um well not possible, but keep keep it good because what I done is, well, I kind of rushed to the red portal with really terrible gear and everything, and it didn't go very well. Okay, where is the, the boss? Did, is this a complete... Is this complete? Oh god, is it really? Oh no, it's not. Okay, there we go. I'll just take down him. Are you the boss? You might be. You're not very strong, so you might not be. Oh, you were the boss. Okay. Okay, let's collect it all, see if we got anything interesting. That is the map, we want, we want this. Okay, this is definitely better. We didn't even have a mask before, now we have an amazing spider creepy looking mask. Okay, let's go back, oh god, enemies. Let's just kill him very quickly. There we go, let's go to hub world, here we go. Okay. And loading screen again. Now we should be able to, yeah, we're power rank 61, so I'm gonna guess it increases uh, depending on how much dungeons were completed, and that will allow us to go into different worlds. Um, suggested class level 4 to 5. Yeah, that's how it used to be. Like, not, it wasn't just suggested. You had to be in between those levels, but now it's just, um, the power rank. I don't actually know what level we are. Let's see. We're level 3. That's not good. <laughs> it's suggested 4 to 5. However, we're, we're not paying much attention to that. Advanced Combat 1. Right click to use prime primary power. Okay. I've accidentally done that. Yay me. I'm pro already. Okay. There we go. We're already doing this. Can we actually break the land with this? Just spam it. It doesn't look like it. Oh no, we did! <laughs> okay. I, that I wouldn't recommend that way of mining though, and that really just uh, sucks up a power level. Okay, press 1 to use your secondary power. I haven't seen this. What does it do? What did it do? I think it tells you if you go on here. Um, yeah, so actually this is our secondary one. I mean, uh, yeah, I think it is anyway. Increases the movement speed, damage, and attack speed of the Ice Age. Uh, any damage, any damaging attack that would do more than 10% of the Ice Age maximum health is absorbed. Uh, breaking the Frozen Ward. Okay. And then there's, we'll, we'll learn about them once we actually unlock them, I guess. Okay. Mouse wheel to dodge. We already knew that too. Use compass or the map with the M to find and complete more dungeons. Okay. We also have this really weird glowing thing around us. It's not draining energy, so is it like going to be there forever? Well, until we take more than 10% of our health damage. Hopefully, because it kind of looks cool. Okay, let's head to this dungeon over here. Is that the closest one? Yes, it is. And then we'll do, I don't know, the other two if necessary. Oh, it is necessary. Necessary to complete that quest anyway, which I'd highly recommend doing. Um, okay. Luckily, it's not got grindy yet. <laughs> Uh, usually, yeah, one, at the end of the thing, it gets quite terrible, really. Not too bad, but not the most funnest of things. Okay, we there he is. Okay, let's do this, and then we do, okay. Where is he? Oh god, there's lots of damage, and we still got that, that glowy thing around us. Which is good. Here we go. So the Ice Sage is pretty cool, actually. Um, I had no idea what it done, and I, did, I have no idea if it's good or not compared to other things. So far, it's not disappointing. Ok, 
Okay, we, we, we replaced our mask. Now we're whatever that thing is. Oh god, go away. Ow! Okay, let's go over here and do this dungeon. Oh, so much. Oh, wait, we're actually regening. That's good. I thought you only regened at your own hub. I can't remember anything. And I also got a bomb, apparently. Let's see if. Let's see what it does. Ah! Aha! Well, it done no damage at all. Fantastic. Now I gotta fight both of these guys. Okay, there we go. Oh, we actually got something for that. Nothing good, though. Actually, let me check. No, I would do it anyway. Um, our health is not bad, and we haven't really gone into a die situation when we need it much. Okay, well, I've noticed this thing does area of effect, which is just amazing. Holy crap, we might need the health thing now. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, he's nearly dead. And we ran out of energy towards the end. I want more energy. That's that's a thing. Okay, we got two res. Uh, what did we get? Not good. I I would do that, I guess. That and then yeah, okay. And there's nothing else here. Let's exit. We just need to do one more dungeon and then we've completed the quest. Okay, let's go on to our mount. Okay. Also, looking at the top left corner, there's level... That's a new thing, that's actually good, because now it's useful. Uh, you always know what level you are, and your mastery. Which I can't remember what does. I think it's for ring crafting. Anything to do with crafting, actually, I think. And it, I don't know at all. I'm just guessing. Well, it's an educated guess, at least. But, this uh, should be our third and final dungeon of the, on this quest. And then hopefully... We shall get something that's not doing dungeons. <laughs> oh, where is the enemy? Oh god, it's one of these. I have no idea what one is which. They all look the same. They also are area of effect. Oh no, I actually see the guy now. You can tell. It's him. Oh, yes. One. Do the one effect thing. Or not. Because I have no energy. Okay, you have a new item to claim. There we go, two res. Are there any better than what we already have? Yes, that is, slightly, and that is not at all. Okay, let's... out. <laughs> that was not intentional. Oh god, he's right there. Just, just... Oh, I kind of wish I went the other guy who can um summon the dead. That was an awesome class to play. It was extremely fun. Um, okay, enter the elite world, uh, gain enough power rank to be able to access the elite world. You can find the portal in the hub. How much will you need for that? I think I'm going to do one more dungeon just in case, because I'm going to guess you need 80 possibly, because it's a round number and everything, and at the moment we have 77, so we might need to do one more. Okay, we'll do this one, which looks kind of scary. Just let's run past all them till we get to- Ah, that's fire! Oh god, that's more fire! Okay, that was not- That was not- That did not go to plan at all. Okay, jumping the fire. Oh god, there's lots of people everywhere in here. Okay, now one of these are the boss. I need to figure out which one. Oh yeah, that's it, because he's got a whole heap of health. Oh god, I've run out of energy. This is not good. Here we go. Now I just need to kill these guys quickly. And we'll claim our loot. We're walking back to the home world. Okay, what what does this give us? But is these both the same way they are? I know, but they're different stats. Um max eighteen maximum health. Eh, I guess you could, it's eighteen. Okay, let's go back to the hub world. And see if we can get into Elite World. If not, I will cut and do a few more dungeons and then we'll come back and see what is there. Okay, it's just, it's really just I think yeah, when you level up, well when you go to a different portal, I think. Um oh we need oh man, we need a hundred. We only got seventy seven. Oh we didn't even gain anything from that portal. This will take a while, but unfortunately, it is time to wrap up. I hope you enjoyed this kind of first episode of Trove. Uh, what is Tower Portal? Oh, it teleports you to the top of... 
Oh, this is awesome. We're at the top now. Oh, this is so new. Oh, do we have wings? No, we don't. Anyway, I was wrapping up. That's right. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. This is kind of a sneak peek sort of thing of Trove just to get you a taste of the game. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, be sure to leave a like, comment, or even subscribe. And as... Oh, there's full damage, really? And as always, good day.